Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video, and this is the series I'm putting together where we started off at Olympus on Mars, and we did a little bit of a resupply mission by going to Phobos, and, and currently we're going from Phobos to Deimos, and we're almost at the target base on Deimos, and just as a reminder, there aren't any bases by default in Orbiter 2016, so these bases were added uh, by me. Um, and I want to thank Dimitri for making a, a copy of the Aurora base and polishing it up a little bit so that it would work on Phobos. And then I took what he did and just literally copy pasted it over to Demos. So we'll take a look at that here when we get landed. So let's go ahead and switch camera views here and jump back into things. Okay, that didn't mean to go outside the vessel. All right, so we are about three and a half kilometers away from the landing pad, moving just at a few meters per second. So let's go ahead and let's get all lined up here again. And really, uh, there's not a lot I can do to help improve my situation, so I'm just going to do a bit of time warp. Be patient, just to get over there a bit quicker. And you can see our vertical speed starting to come down a little bit. So what I might want to do is put in a little bit of additional additional down translation just to make sure you know that we're continuing to go towards uh, the target base. Rotation. Go ahead and rotate down actually so I can see the base. Translation. And a bit more, you know, kind of put the velocity vector where we plan to go, which is that away. Okay, and we're moving a bit slow now since we put in that uh, adjustment. 4, so I might go ahead and just put in a bit of forward translation just to get over there a little bit quicker, but, you know, not a ton because everything we put in we're going to have to take back out at some point. So it would be better just to use a bit of time warp. Okay, and I do know that this location that I put the base is really flat. So we don't have to worry about hitting a crater wall Rotation. or anything like that. Three thousand. A little bit of time warp. So we're about two kilometers out, just over two kilometers out. Moving towards the base. And we're moving it 2, ten times, so we'll get there a little quicker. And we're about a 1.5 kilometers out. All right, we're going to get a bunch of annoying uh, gear warnings. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the APU, put down the gear now, just so I don't get constantly gear pestered. Down. Translation. Gear down and locked. Rotation. All right, we're going to go ahead and go wings level with the ground at this point, because we are on track to get to where we're going. And we'll use a camera to help see what we're doing. One thousand. All right. Translation. Let me take out some of our vertical speed. Nine hundred. All right. Let's look at our camera. I oh, already had it up. So next camera, next camera, next. So, yeah, I need to add that front down camera to this one. So I think for now, the best one is going to be the dummy camera, which is the exact same camera as down. Rotation. So we're in rotation. So we're about 900 meters away from the pad. Translation. Rotation. Information. APU running. I'm going to go ahead and... 700 open the hover in the retro just to have those open and turn off the APU to not get the annoyance all right so about 700 kilometers uh, meters to go to the center of the pad so we're, we're working over there slowly maybe if I zoom out a little bit mm, can't quite see the base yet in the down camera translation rotation 500. It's a little bit farther to go. Translation. 
and we'll be over the pad and ready to touch down. We have the gear down already. 400. And we have we have our retro doors open just in case we need to use them, but we should be fine with translation. We're not moving very fast. It's really hard to see anything because everything's pitch black, which is re which is why I wanted to land during the day. But yeah, I was struggling to uh, to get that to work out. Translation. Three hundred. It's so about three hundred meters up, descending at four meters a second. About two hundred meters away from the middle of the pad. Two hundred fifty meters away from the middle of the pad. So still a little bit ways to go, and we can start just now seeing the base come into view in our down camera. Let me zoom in one level because we're getting a little bit of the hull there. But I like seeing this because it helps me, Rotation. Um, you know, visualize where I'm at or, you know, in my mind's eye, it helps me realize where I'm at. Translation. All right, let's go ahead and take out some of that forward speed. Maybe go ahead and use those retros since we have those doors open. 100. 75. And take out some of the down velocity just to help slow things down for us. 50. 40. Okay, so we're pretty much straight over the landing. Um, it's not exactly a landing pad, it's more like a landing 30. blast area. Go ahead and take out some more of that down speed. 20. And it can be pretty tricky to get wheel stop. You just have to make sure that all your various velocities are pretty well zeroed out. So we have about 16, 14 15. more to go. 15. And we're almost down falling Ten. very slowly. Rotation. Go ahead and get rotated to wings level Nine. so that when we do touch down all the wheels hopefully touch Eight. near the same time. Translation. Seven. Rotation. Translation. Six. Five. Four. Just trying to make sure my horizontal speed is three. really well zeroed out. Two. And we don't want to bounce, so I'm going to try to get One. very little horizontal speed or vertical speed. Rotation. We wheel stop. Wheels up. I had wheel stop, but then I hit the thruster and blew it. So that was almost perfect. So we'll get wheel stop again here in just a second. Translation. We have mostly zero in all directions. Wheel stop. There we go. There's wheel stop, but it's, it didn't hold because I can see we're still rotating. There we go, now we have wheel stop, everything's zeroed out. All right, so there we go. We made our uh, trip over here to Daybreak, the base on Deimos. So we, we can look at the external to see kind of what the base looks like, although it's, again, it's identical to the Aurora base on, on, uh, on Phobos. Uh, one thing, I did place the, the base so that we should have a nice view of Mars even while we're landed, so we're not obstructed by a crater wall or anything like that but you can't really tell what it looks like so let's go ahead and warp time forward until daytime let's go let's look at map so currently you know we're here so the the day night terminator has to come all the way over here so it looks like we landed just shortly after sunset so let's go ahead and warp time forward Wait, one thing, I need to uh, turn on external cooling so we don't burn through. Using external O2. External cooling online. All right, now external cooling is online. Now we can work time forward without using up whatever oxygen we have on the vessel. And, you know, again, we'll go until we're, you know, a couple squares past, um, you know, the day-night terminator. That way the sun's kind of overhead. And now we can take a look at what the base looks like. So this is what I was talking about. The color palette 
for for this base you know it, it doesn't blend quite as well I think these look perfectly fine here uh, to me they just look like you know whatever sort of dust and stuff is on top has just been kind of blown away as the various vessels have done their you know their landings but this part here you know probably should be redone so that it color matches this better and Dimitri's explained to me how to do that and I do plan on doing it it's just uh, it's just going to be a work in progress but for now that's going to be the end of the mission uh, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to wrap up this series here or if we're going to take off from here and then go down to Mars I'm kind of thinking we will but I'm not going to commit to that just yet so uh, if that's the end of the series then please do hit the like button um, if there's going to be another part to it then of course you'll see part uh, six or seven or whatever we're up to at this point I don't know I've lost count so I hope you enjoyed the flight from Olympus to Phobos and then over to Deimos uh, if you did please hit the like button and let me know what you think of all this and I'll see you in the next video if there is one